paradise found. The young shark's family thrives in a pristine ocean sanctuary. Deep, blue, safe. This was home. Sunlight danced on the coral reefs, painting the world in a kaleidoscope of colors. Fish, big and small, darted in and out of their coral homes, their scales shimmering like jewels. I chased after them, my sleek body gliding through the water. My family, strong and majestic, patrolled our reef, their powerful tails swishing behind them. Life was a symphony of vibrant sounds and colors. We were the guardians of this underwater paradise. Our presence ensured balance, a delicate dance between predator and prey. Every day brought new adventures, thrilling hunts and playful chases. The water, our lifeblood, pulsed with energy and vitality. We were one with the ocean, its every rhythm, every current, resonating deep within us. The abundance of life here was our birthright, a legacy passed down through generations of sharks. My siblings and I, we were inseparable. We explored every nook and cranny of our coral kingdom, our laughter echoing through the water. Our parents, wise and watchful, taught us the ways of the ocean, the art of the hunt, and the importance of respecting every creature that shared our home. We learned about the currents that carried whispers from distant lands, and the rhythm of the tides that governed the ocean's breath. Life was good, pure, and brimming with the promise of a bright future. We were young, full of life, and the ocean was our playground. A world apart. The harsh realities of a polluted ocean shocked the young shark. One day the current shifted. A strange, unsettling silence descended upon our reef. The once vibrant corals were now pale, lifeless skeletons. The water, usually crystal clear, was murky, thick with an unknown menace. My siblings and I coughed, our gills stinging from the unfamiliar pollutants. Fear, cold and sharp, pierced through the carefree bubble of our childhood. Driven by an unseen force, we followed our parents, our once familiar home now a desolate wasteland. The smell of decay clung to the water, a suffocating blanket that stifled our senses. Gone were the playful chases, the exhilarating hunts. Our world, our sanctuary had been tainted, transformed into a hostile alien landscape. Where once life had flourished, now only silence remained, broken only by the rasp of our own struggling breaths. We swam for what felt like days, the stench of death clinging to us like a shroud. My siblings, their once vibrant energy dimmed, struggled to keep up. Our parents, their eyes clouded with worry, urged us forward, their powerful bodies now weighed down by an invisible burden. The water, once a source of life, now felt heavy, oppressive. Finally, we emerged into a different world. The water, though still bearing the scars of pollution, was clearer. A few hardy corals clung to life, a testament to the ocean's resilience. But the abundance, the sheer diversity of life that had defined our home, was missing. This was a world struggling to survive, a stark contrast to the paradise we left behind. Loss and confusion. The young shark grapples with the death of its sibling. The joy of finding a new home was short-lived. My youngest sibling, weakened by the journey and the polluted waters, didn't make it. We huddled together, our bodies trembling as our parents nudged his lifeless form, their sorrow echoing through the water. The ocean, once a symbol of life, now held the weight of death, a harsh reality I was too young to comprehend. Grief, a heavy cloak, settled over our family. The playful chases ceased, the laughter silenced. We moved like shadows, haunted by the memory of our lost sibling. The ocean, once a source of endless wonder, now felt vast and empty, a constant reminder of what we had lost. The currents carried the scent of our sibling, a phantom reminder of his absence. Why did our home change? Why did our sibling have to leave us? The question swirled in my mind, unanswered. I looked at my parents, their eyes reflecting the pain of a loss too deep for words. They had always been our protectors, our guides, but now even they seemed lost in the face of this tragedy. The ocean, once a source of comfort, now whispered tales of loss and despair. I felt a growing sense of dread, a premonition that the world we knew, the world we belonged to, was slipping away. The balance, the harmony we had taken for granted, had been shattered, leaving behind a void that threatened to consume us all. 